हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठ ही आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रिकार्डो थियोरी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डिवेलपमेंट फॉर यू जी सी नेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिकार्डो परपाउंडेड नो थियोरी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डिवेलपमेंट येस दिस इज एब्सोल्यूटली ट्रू रिकार्डो परपाउंडेड नो थियोरी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डिवेलपमेंट ही गेव थियोरी ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड वी यूज हिज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थियोरी इन रेफरेंस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डिवेलपमेंट that doesn't mean ricardo never give his view about economic development he presented his view on economic development in some unsystematic manner in his book named the principle of political economy and taxation now we'll see assumption all land is used for production of corn corn means plant of food gain like wheat and here we assume wheat is essential for survival that's why all land is used for production of corn Law of diminishing return of rate. That means additional unit of input give us less amount of output. Supply of land is fixed, but supply of labor and capital is variable. We can change labor and capital as per requirement. Technical knowledge is constant. Worker are paid substance wage. Substance wage means workers paid that amount of money in which they can survive only. Or we can say the workers are paid that amount of money in which they can buy only food, but cannot save any money. and uh, there is perfect competition in economy ricardo model is based on three groups landlords capitalist and laborers landlord receive rent capitalist receive profit and laborers receive wages and capital accumulation is very important for this theory and capital accumulation depend on profit which is earned by capitalist because capitalist reinvest this profit as a result investment will increase in economy as investment increase output employment income will also increase and this will be called progressive state of economic development but as economic development proceed wages increase as wages increase population of our country also increase like malthus ricardo also believe higher wages lead to increase in population as wages increase population of, of our country also increase as population increase demand for food gain also increase or we can say demand for corn will also increase that means now we start to increase production of corn but supply of land is fixed that's why we start cultivating in inferior quality of land and productivity of inferior quality of land is very low as a result our production will fall the production of uh, corn will fall but their demand is high as a result prices of food gain will increase or we can say the prices of corn will increase if prices of corn will increase that means wages will also increase because we have to pay wages equal to substance level hame employees ko itna wages to dena hi hai jisse wo food gain ko khareed sake jisse wo jisse wo corn ko khareed sake agar corn ka price badh jayega that means we have to increase in wages but because of inferior quality land productivity or means marginal productivity of labor is very low but their wages are high obviously profit of producer will reduce if profit reduce that means investment reduce if investment reduce output employment income everything will reduce and it will be called stationary state of economy now we understand this theory with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have labor and y axis we have total output of corn or we can say on y axis we have total income and uh, mp is marginal product of labor this curve represent marginal product of labor and this curve represent average product of labor ap and uh, our total output is op or we can say total income is op we have to distribute this income between rent profit and wages and according to this theory rent is difference between ap and mp when we minus marginal product from average product it will become equal to rent so here our marginal product is ke this k point touches mp curve so ke is our marginal product and average product is le when we minus ke from le it will become equal to lk this lk will our per unit rent and our total rent is R P L K. This part represent our total rent. And uh, in this theory, we assume we have to pay wages according to substance level. This horizontal line represent uh, substance uh, level wages. So, 
our per unit wages is uh, te this t point touches this substance line so te is our per unit uh, wages and total wages is this o w t e this part represent our total wages and this part represent our total rent and remaining part r k w t represent our profit so this part represent our rent this part represent profit and this part represent our total distribute uh, total wages means we have to distribute our income uh, between rent profit and wages so w r k t this part represent our total profit and profit is very essential for economic growth because our capital accumulation depend on profit but as economic development proceed our profit become zero here you can see as economic development proceed labor supply increase from oe to oe1 at e1 labor supply you can see per unit wages is m e1 and total wage bill equal to o w m e1 this part represent total wage bill as our economic development proceed which is higher than earlier earlier our total wage bill was equal to o w t e earlier this part was represent our total wages but now our wage bill has increased it will become equal to o w m e1 this part which is higher than earlier so at m point our total wages has increased and rent is difference between mp and ap here you can see mp is m e1 and ap is p e1 and difference between mp and ap is equal to pm this pm part represent our rent you can see as our economic development proceed our rent also increase this m e1 part represent wages and this pm part represent rent then where is profit at this m point our profit has become zero because our rent and wage bill both has increased if profit becomes zero that means there is no investment if no investment that means there is no output no employment no increase in income as a result our economy will move towards stationary state so this m point will be called stationary state of economy now with the help of this diagram we will clearly understand stationary state of economy in this diagram on x axis we have labor and y axis we have output this line this ow line represents substance wages and this op curve this net product curve represent our total profit this ok curve this curve represent our rent initially our wages are pl profits are rp and remaining part belong to rent as economic development proceed our wages has increased from pl to p1 l1 this part represent our wages now but as our de development proceed our profit reduce because of higher wages and this part represent our profit r1 p1 here you can see our profit has reduced but uh, wages has increased as development proceed more at this e point you can see our profit has become zero here wages are equal to e, e l2 and uh, remaining kl part represent our rent at this e point our profit has become zero and this e point will be called stationary state of economy now we will see criticism of this theory this theory ignore impact of technology this theory assume unrealistic concept of stationary state and this theory assume unrealistic assumption of perfect competition in reality there is imperfect competition also this theory seems a distribution theory rather than growth theory give unnecessary importance to law of diminishing return baseless notion of population according to this theory as wages increase population also increase but in reality in many western countries as wages increase population fall so this is all about ricardo theory of economic development i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care